Okay. Today we are making a bottom round roast. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sear it a little bit to make the cooking time go a little faster because we're getting a late start. I know a lot of people don't like to sear meat. I've been doing it for a year and I'm uh, and I'm quite happy with it. Okay. The little boy wants to season. Now this is okay. That's good. Uh, this is onion powder. He hasn't really developed the knack for this quite yet. I have a very onion <laughs> oniony center. And this is some garlic powder. I'm also going to flip it over. Season the other side. I tend to cook mainly with powders. I, I'm, uh, I've been accused of being shy with seasoning, so I try to be a little more liberal. Okay, now I'm going to set my oven to about 350. And it'll let me know when that is done. And while we wait for the oven to preheat, we'll set that aside. And we're going to work on the mushrooms that go with this. Okay, I saute my mushrooms in a little bit of Worcestershire and butter. And, yes, what's the matter? Did you lose a tooth? Open your mouth. Um, uh, you bit your lip. Okay, well, leave it alone. Can you shut that cabinet door for me, please? Okay, so, before we actually do that, though, because I like a homemade Philly cheesesteak sandwich, you can help, honey. You can not step on my toes. Thank you. I'll tell you what you can do when it's time to do it. I'm going to slice up some Swiss cheese for the beef. And then we can melt this over the beef when it's done with the mushrooms and make it like a homemade Philly. We can also um, the next day use the leftovers to do the same thing. We would just warm them up. The so we would slice up the roast once it's done cooking and uh, package it overnight, you know, in a Ziploc bag or something and put it in the fridge and then the next day for lunch we could make homemade Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. So most likely I will end up melting some cheese over mine tonight with the mushrooms and eating it just like that without necessarily being a sandwich but just eating it like that the meat with the mushrooms and the cheese. But tomorrow for lunch, they're a great sandwich. So where's my little helper? Will you put that away? Thank you. So now we have the cheese all sliced up. Okay. We're going to open our butter. You're both my little helpers. You may open the mushrooms. No, you can go get the frying pan off the counter. Okay. I have a spoon right here. He didn't get the frying pan. Okay. We'll set the cheese aside for the moment. And I will get the frying pan. I'm going to put about... Well... I'm going to put close to a half a stick of butter. Okay, thank you. Half a stick of butter. 
in here. There we go. See, and now what we're going to do is we're going to set it here on this burner. And we want to set it to low, because right now what we want to do is we want to melt the butter without uh, burning it. I'll set that over there on the uh, cutting board with the cheese. Here you go. Put that in the fridge for Mommy. Thank you. Michael, throw that away, please. And here's my sliced mushrooms. Okay. And as soon as the butter warms up a bit. No, honey, you can't. I already have these plugged into the computer. Michael, can you stop that, please? Thank you. And the oven hasn't beeped at us that it's fully preheated yet, but we're going to go ahead and put the roast in now anyway. There we go. In goes the roast. Into the oven. And you can see the butter starting to melt. So now... What we're going to do, I'll set that down for a second, while I open the Worcestershire. I love Worcestershire sauce. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually let the Worcestershire sauce come to a slow boil. Now, now. Behave. Michael, would you give those back to him, please? He did get them. No, they can't be plugged into the computer. Because I have these plugged into the computer. We'll see. All right. As you can see, I desperately need new pots. This one is extremely warped and uneven. Actually, let me see. It's actually much better on that burner, so I will change burners. Okay. And now what I will do is I will... There we go. The oven just went, told me it was preheated. So now I'm pouring the mushrooms into the skillet. Okay. And I will just let them simmer. And that's it. And when this meal is finished, it will be all done. And we will have dinner. That's it.